Well, Here's a fun. quick tip. So this is the old broken bottom cylinder gasket, which is no so longer usable. Find a piece of cardboard, um, preferably like a cereal box, and you can actually make your own gasket. For the lower side only. Yeah. For the top head gasket, it's since that's exposed to uh, a lot of compression and heat, a metal one needs to be used. Time for the installation. All right. So, so the most difficult part of this is getting the rings inside the piston wall. And because we did it while it's still on the bike, we have to jump through the hoop of having a chain guide there, and it's quite messy because there's a shit ton of gasket maker. So it's easy to do with two people. One compresses the rings, language. the other one holds the cylinder. Your aim here is to compress all piston rings so that they don't bend as they did before this rebuild. Let's I don't know what you're talking about. Let's hit it. That's so much easier. Let's down. So you're going to have a spread feeding in the piston whilst compressing the piston rings. Jump, oh. hold up. A little bit. Make sure the chain is clear, the timing chain. Put up what the uh, very delicate job here. Let's hit it. Down a little bit. Oh, this helps us well. back up a little bit. Oh, oh he's not doing it. Sorry about that. Right. that. So what we have in? all piston rings compressed. Not in. Where? Yeah, sure the same. cylinder lines up inside the tank case. Gently push it down whilst rotating to make sure all the strings are seated uh, nice and firm. And then go ahead and just gently push that down. Here. Let the gasket make it glide. Don't forget to take out the chain, tiny chain. Don't oh, forget that. And then, very important, before putting on the cylinder head, also is this other kind of tensioner piece. Sorry, guide. Yeah. So regardless of installing new or... And there's no oil in this. Used pistons. Okay, why are you oiling them? It's all so that we're rotating. 